hope you can join me. Good morning, love. Go ahead and share. Good morning. We're going to pray this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad you can come join me. I hope more people join in. I'm going to go forward with this prayer just as the Lord gave it to me. Good morning, love. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone that's coming on. Good morning. Come on in and let us pray together and share the broadcast. The word says, wherever two or more are gathered in the name of the Lord, he shall be in the midst. And all we need is two faithful warriors, two faithful intercessors. And we will go forth with the word, with this prayer. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Come on in, you guys. Share the broadcast. Let us pray. Let us pray. The Lord has given me some prayer points for us to pray. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You guys come on in. And please share the broadcast. We're going to pray. We are going to pray. Good morning, good morning, Will. God bless you. Please share the broadcast. We're going to pray. We are going to pray. I'm giving it three more minutes for others to join, okay? And then we're going to start praying. The Lord has placed some prayer points on my heart. Good morning, Will. Good morning. And we're going to go for Good morning, Cassandra. You guys go ahead and share the broadcast. Good morning, Audrey. God bless you guys. I'm so glad you guys are up at this hour. And we're going to pray. We're going to pray. You know, God placed this on my heart a few months ago. And I'm just honored. So I want to go ahead and be obedient. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna let this music play just for a little bit to set the atmosphere, okay? Good morning, guys. Good morning. You're my chosen. Oh, 
He reminded me at the moment when Jesus left the apostles, when he had to ascend. And he told them that he had to return to the Father in order for us and them to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible tells us after Jesus left, they returned to Jerusalem and they went up into the upper room. And as they gathered together, they all continued to pray. And so the Lord placed it on my heart to call his people to pray. And so on this morning, I want us to get together in this moment to open our hearts, open our minds, to pray together, to intercede to the world, intercede for the nation, intercede for America, intercede for our family and friends. And so the Lord gave me several prayer points. I'm going to move as quickly as possible and I'll tell you what they are. First, we're going to command the morning. The second one is we're going to pray for emotional and mental health. The third one is um, relationships. The fourth one is for the nation, peace in our country, peace around the world. The fourth prayer point we're praying for is our finances. And the sixth prayer point is towards any form of sexual perversion based on what the Lord placed in my heart. So I pray that you guys will endure. We're going to go in. So Father, I thank you on this morning that you allow even the few to gather in your name. Those who have a heart for you, Lord God, they love you and they understand the power of prayer. They understand the power in our tongues. They understand that the manifest, the manifesting power that comes from declaring a thing. So Father, I ask you, Lord God, to touch each hearer of this word. Touch them where they are. Touch them behind the computer screens, behind of their cell phones, Lord God. I ask you, Lord God, let there be a manifestation of your glory on this morning. And I ask you, Lord God, let this prayer go out like a rocket blast, like a booming sound, Lord God. Let it shatter the atmosphere. Pull down strongholds, Lord God. Shake up the tombs. Shake up the caverns. Shake up every dark secret place that the enemy and his imps and his minions and powers Lord God reside in the name of Jesus so father in the name of Jesus I ask you Lord God to use me as you see fit I am nothing more than your divine mouthpiece in this honor I am honored, Lord God, to go forth with the word. And I ask you, Lord God, let everyone in the sound of my voice come into divine agreement with the word that is going forth. So first, we're going to command the morning. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning. Together, we give you an offering of prayer as we line ourselves up with your will for our lives. The blood of the everlasting covenant of Jesus. Jesus Christ covers us. The blood makes perfect in every good work. Oh Lord, hear us as we pray. Pay attention, Lord God, to the groanings and let our prayers meet you this morning. We commend the morning. Open its ears to us, Lord. Father God, let the sunrise of the dawn give birth to the will of God and let light shine on wickedness. We command all the elements of creation to take heed and obey in the name of Jesus. You will show us the way of life, granting us joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. 
we declare, Lord God, the first fruit of this morning is holy. And our entire day will be made holy. We prophesy, Lord God, the will of God over our lives. The will of God in this day. The will of God this morning. So that the dawn will know its place in our days. The break of day will shake out wickedness from the four corners of the earth, Lord God. Break of day, we shake out wickedness from the four corners of the earth. The lines are falling on my behalf in pleasant, bountiful, agreeable places in the name of Jesus. Father, we confess that this day is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we declare that our ears will hear good news on today. We will not accept, we will not receive any bad news in the name of Jesus. We will not hear the voice of the enemy today or any day moving forward in the name of Jesus. Let all of the elements of this day cooperate with us, Lord God. Let all the forces that refuse to cooperate with the enemies, let all the forces that cooperate with the enemies bow down to your sovereignty, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We commend this day. We speak to the sun, the moon, and the stars. They will not smite us, Lord God. They will not smite our family, our friends, in the name of Jesus. We pull down every negative energy planning to operate against our lives today in the name of Jesus. Every demonic agenda or evil, Lord God, thought past patterns, Lord Father, designed against the agenda of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is destroyed at the root of its conception in the name of Jesus. Elohim arise. Elohim arise and uproot everything you have not planted in the heavenlies that are working against us on today. We are riding on the wings of the morning into a new day of victory. In the name of Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 We command our day and we stand strong in the name of Jesus. Now we're going to go ahead and pray against emotional and mental sickness. We're going to pray and declare that we are emotionally and mentally well. So Father, in the name of Jesus, your word says that we all may have well. We may, Father, in the name of Jesus, your word says that all may go well with us and that, that we may be in good health as it goes well with our souls. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus, who paid the price for our souls. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus and by the shedding of his righteous and holy blood. Abba Father, because of the blood Jesus shed on Calvary, that same blood that made a way for us to approach you and receive forgiveness for all of our sins. And because of the terrible torture Jesus endured to purchase our healing, we ask Lord God right now that you would heal our bodies. Let your healing power course through our veins right now. Heal us from the top of our heads, Lord God, to the soles of our feet. May your healing hand rest upon us. May your life-giving powers flow into every cell of our body and into the depths of our souls. Cleansing, purifying, pruning, restoring us, Lord God, to wholeness and strength for service in your kingdom. Father God, you said in Malachi 4, Lord God, for those who fear my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings. Therefore, we renounce the load of extra burdens, undue stress, heaviness, unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness, envy, doubt, unbelief, self-condemnation, lying, self-hatred, self-loading, complaining, giving false witness, debauchery, cursing, quarreling, gossiping, strife, jealousy, anger, rage. Lord God, we curse these things, Lord God, right now, and we remove them from our hearts in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, 
these things are displaced by your yoke because you have invited us to come to you with our weariness and our burdens. For your word says, Lord God, in Lamentations 3, that you will show compassion because of the greatness of your unfailing love. Lord God, who can measure your greatness? Who can measure your love? For the Bible tells us no man can measure the width, the height, the dimensions of your love, Lord God. You did not, you do not enjoy hurting people or causing us sorrow, Lord God. You, you promise us rest. Your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We trust you, Lord, and we will learn from you. Lord God, create in us a clean heart and a right spirit. We declare your light so that darkness will not fill our heart, Lord God. The words from our mouths and the meditations of our hearts, Lord God, will be acceptable in your sight in the name of Jesus. Our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit, Lord God. We disallow every trespassing thought from entering into the gates of our souls. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua Hamashek, let our minds think right every, in every area, Lord God. Arrest our thought processes. In the name of Jesus, we arrest and bind every emotional conflict, relational conflict, Lord God, mental conflict, Lord God, psychological conflict, oh God, every conflicting spirit, Lord God, everything causing depressive disorders, anxiety disorders, bipolar disorder, bipolar one and bipolar two, schizophrenia, delirium, obsessive compulsive disorder, hoarding disorder, acute stress disorder, PTSD, Lord God, we arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Disassociative identity disorder, better known as multiple personality disorder. We curse you at the root. Let the fire of God evict you, Lord God, from the souls and the minds of the people of God. Father, we come against anorexia, bulimia, sleep apnea, narcolepsy, Lord God, sleep tremors. Father, we come against ADHD in the name of Jesus. We come against alcohol use addiction. We come against caffeine withdrawal, caffeine addiction. We come against cannabis use addiction, Lord God, and disorder in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, arrest every tobacco smoking disorder addiction in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let your spirit, Lord God, and let the fires of heaven, Lord God, annihilate and assault every opioid loosing, using demon that causes addiction in the name of Jesus. Every demonic agent not identified in this prayer, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every power, every entity, we arrest you as you attempt to hijack the cognitive functions of the regions of the brain that includes the dorsal anterior cingulate cortex, the right insula and the left insula. We uproot you in the name of Christ Jesus, the son of the living God. We plead the blood of Jesus against you. We render you of no effect no effect and we command you out of the minds of god's people right now in the name of christ jesus of nazareth oh god oh father having bound all these spirits and all spirits lord god not of the holy spirit father we now break the communications and supply lines and bind them up off of all reinforcements in the name of jesus we speak and decree upon them spiritual confusion deafness, dumbness, blindness, and paralysis. We throw all of their plans into the continual abyss, confusion and disarray in the name of Jesus. We decree all of these things, Lord God, will be accomplished immediately, right now, completely, permanently, and continuously in the name of Jesus. Father, we loose your divine healing power filled with grace and mercy to transform our bodies, minds, and soul. We lose your peace. We lose your power. We lose your love. We lose your joy, Lord God. 
over our entire beings in the name of Jesus. We call on your name, God. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Let our organs function perfectly, Lord God. Let our organs function perfectly, Lord God. Remove every invading germ, virus, bacteria, malfunction, malignant cells, Lord God. Everything causing cancer, Lord God. Everything, Lord God, that's causing blood disease. Any disorder, Lord God, that did not come from your throne of greatness, Lord God. We arrest it now, Lord God. And we ask you, Father, to restore any damage done to our bodies from past and present sicknesses in the name of Jesus. We confess that we are redeemed from the curse of the Lord God which includes sickness and disease. And we confess that we live under the new covenant that is Jesus Christ, which promises prosperity, good health, by the reason of the shedding of the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We renounce, Lord God, the spirit of pharmacia, Lord. Lord, deliver us from the addiction, Lord God, of medicines, Lord God, depending on doctors and hospitals in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, teach us how to take care of our bodies. Give us a spirit of obedience, Lord God, so we will exercise and we will eat well. We will have adequate sleep, Lord Father, in the name of Jesus. We will rest when our body needs rest. Father, give us a spirit of obedience, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, patience, Lord God. Father, we desire these things, Lord, because you are our healer. You are our deliverer. You are the keeper of our souls and our lives. So for this, Lord God, we thank you and we seal this prayer with the mighty and awesome and Lord God, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. The next prayer is for relationships. You know, I had to write all these down so I don't forget. <laughs> so I had to make sure I write them down. You guys tracking with me? So go in with me, saints. Go in with me. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare our relationships. We dedicate our relationships to you, Lord. Whether we are married, whether we are single, Lord God. Relationships with colleagues. Relationships with friends relationships with ministry, Lord God, business partnerships, associations, and family members. We dedicate all relationships, Lord Father, to you. Father, our marriages are anointed and every yoke must bow down and be categorized and destroyed at the root in the name of Christ Jesus, son of the living God. We ask for wisdom and how to show and receive love in our relationships. You are our shield and defender. Show us how, when, and where to erect boundaries in our relationships. We need your specific directions on how to interact with people we love, but they reject us, they neglect us, or they mishandle us, Lord God. We forgive them, Lord God. We forgive them, Lord God. I want you guys to now say it out loud. We forgive them, Lord God. They've rejected us. They've abandoned us. They've neglected us. They've misused us. They've abused us. But Father, we forgive them. Say it out loud. We forgive them. We got to let them go. We cannot hold on to any pain. We cannot hold on to anything that anyone that has done for us. We forgive them. We forgive ourselves. We forgive ourselves. We forgive them in the name of Jesus. For the Lord requires us to walk in forgiveness. Healing in your body, healing in your mind, healing in your soul is attached to your ability to forgive people. Okay? So we saying it, we forgive them, Lord God, and we forgive ourselves. We want to love them with a pure heart and a good conscience and sincere faith, according to 1 Timothy 1 and 5. Abba Father, let your perfect love cast out, Lord God, all of our affairs relate, related to relationships. We surrender what we think we understand, what we think we know, what we think, Lord God, relationships should be. We surrender our thoughts. We surrender our actions, Lord God. We surrender and we ask you to, to transform our relationships so that they're honorable unto you, Lord. 
Father, our marriage bed are blessed. Our finances are blessed. Our children are blessed for 1,000 generations in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. We renounce, Lord God, all ungodly, all outside ungodly influences over our relationships, over our family members, over our associates, over our business partners, over our colleagues, over our ministry teams, over every relationship in the name of Jesus, all soul ties bounds and cords with corporate or personal sin lord god we repent we repent right now father search our hearts to know lord god we fell and we repent in the name of jesus we bind memory recall lord god of past unpleasant and un abusive relationships lord god we loose your eternal and everlasting peace which will cause us to have a sound mind oh lord we pray for singles waiting to be aligned with their future husbands and wives father god the same anointing the same anointing lord god that you placed on root as a virtuous woman of god lord god let that anointing be placed on our lives now in the name of jesus we draw from spiritual legacy of the proverbs 31 woman lord this substance and riches and force to be reckoned with because my strength is in you god father you have prepared us to be wives lord god just as Boaz was a godly man, generous and protective of root. So it shall be for every man receiving this prayer on this morning. Let the Lord our God anoint you with wisdom, knowledge, grace, and favor to find yourself a wife in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Oh, Father, we lift up prayers, Lord God, for our children and all the children around the world. Lord Jesus, you have promised your people that all our children shall be taught by you, Lord God. Please do this for us, Lord God. Father, teach our children. Hold them close, Lord God. Draw them near to you, Jesus. Father, please reveal yourself to our children and children around the world. Our children, children, Lord God. Oh, Father, descendants, orders, bring them in perfect alignment, Lord God. Place your perfect peace upon them by the blood of Jesus, Son of the living God. We plead the blood of Jesus over all the children around the world may the blood of Jesus permeate and touch their navels Lord God so that blessings may flow Lord God through them in the name of Jesus all destiny devouring spirits are displaced now by the destiny angel of the Lord oh God we come against the powers of peer pressure oh God ungodly associations our children will lead and not follow they are not bound and influenced by the spirit of this world self-inflicted curses lord god through negative confessions are broken now in the name of jesus by the power and fire of the holy ghost lord god and about she oh father all negative words spoken over our children through ignorance of intention are erased out of them right now they will not have any effect on children we cause doors that have an illegitimately or legally made a way lord god for demonic activity to operate in our children's lives to be closed forever sealed shut sealed by the power of the holy spirit and by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth we declare they will sleep well at night we declare the blood of jesus covers them as they slumber we command sleep sweet divine rest upon them lord god incubus and succubus and all other forms of perversion abound now in the name of christ jesus son of the living god our children are protected from accidents oh god they are protected from abductions from deviant sexual predators lord god incidents of bullying father thoughts of suicide lord god thoughts of participating in sexual packs orgies or perverted acts oh god they are covered by the blood of jesus 
those that fight our children to fight their parents and to fight others. Oh, we arrest you now in the name of Jesus. Our children, Lord God, will not succumb to conflict, Lord God. Oh God, these demonic forces, they are liars and we commend them to die now by the fire of the Holy Spirit and by the blood of Jesus, son of the living God. We declare, Lord God, they will command you. We command these demonic influences to die now. Die at the root. Die at the root of conception now. Fire of God. Fire of God. We ask you, Lord God, and about shame to kill these demonic influences in the name of Jesus. The children, our children, children around the world will not fall prey to the tricks of the enemy. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come into agreement over the protection of children around the world. They will live and not prematurely be taken out of this world. Oh, God, they will not prematurely be taken out of this world through accidental death, sicknesses, diseases or cares of this world father they shall live long and prosperous lives and they will serve god oh god this is the heritage of our seeds for a thousand generations lord god let this prayer be forever programmed in the heavens according to the will of god in the name of christ jesus of nazareth we pray amen the next prayer point is to pray for our country and the world. I hope you guys are tracking with me. Okay. So father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for the heart it takes to care for people around the world, particularly in countries where the perpetual conflict, civil unrest, Lord God, increasing bloodshed. We pray, Lord God, for war-torn countries as Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Ukraine, civil war in Liberia, Yemen, Diplomatic Republic of Congo, criminal violence in Mexico, Central African Republic, the Boko Haram in Nigeria, instability in Egypt, and the contentious country of North Korea. Oh God, we plead the blood of Jesus over these lands, Lord God. And about she, we lift up prayers for these countries in the name of Jesus. We pray for the United States of America our government officials, the president of the United States. Father God, you have instructed us to pray for those in authority and we lift our leaders up in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over the minds of all leaders across the nation on a local, state, and national level. It is you, Yeshua, who removes kings and raises up kings. It is you, Yeshua, who gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Order their steps, Lord God, Father, we break the power of demonic influences that would make a threefold cord of the spirits of thugs, race baiting, race retaliation in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare the president's cabinet members will bow to Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over Donald Trump's head, over his mind, so that the pressure of the office will not keep him from making righteous and moral decisions, being a godly husband and father, and that will prevent him from sleeping at night. We come against every mind-binding, Lord God, heart-darkening spirit in the name of Christ Jesus, son of the living God. We block the powers of influence from witchcraft, Lord God, false religions and other gods in the name of Christ Jesus. We put barriers around the United States from the grounds of the earth to the skies of the heaven that will bind and block the witchcraft for the sacrifices coming from foreign countries or those in opposition with the United States. Let the powers of every demonic incantation, Lord God, dedications be rendered powerless and broken in the name of Christ Jesus, son of the living God. Father God, you alone 
are our strong defense. You are a strong defender and ever present help in time of trouble. You watch over and defend our military personnel and all others who defend our life and liberty and that they may serve justly and honorably in the pursuit of peace. So God, we ask you, Lord God, on this morning, grant them courage and strength in the time of service. Bring them safely home. Bring them safely home to their families, to their loved ones, to their communities in the name of Jesus. Let this prayer, Lord God, for the United States, for America, for the nation, Lord God, let this prayer be sealed in the blood of Jesus, in the blood of Christ Jesus, Son of the living God. And so now we're going to pray for finances. Are you guys still with me? <laughs> God bless you guys. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's pray for finances. Heavenly Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. Father God, thank you for Jesus died for us to complete, for, to have complete and total access to you to everything you are. Father, you are our provider. You are abundant. You alone, Lord God, your love, your mercy, your grace is sufficient. Father, we ask you, Lord God, that you continue, Father, to provide for all our needs. Father, for you said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added. So, Father, we come to you seeking, Lord God, humbly making our petitions unto you today. Our virtue shoes buried in the ground. We say, come out and locate us now in the name of Jesus. Your word says that you shall supply all my needs, Lord God, all my needs. I didn't say some, all. He said, his word says, all our needs, all our needs. So Lord, we thank you for performing your word. We stand, Lord God, on Psalms 34 and 10 by declaring the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall lack no good thing. Lord, as we seek your face, we are believing we will lack no good thing. We are obedient with our gifts, tithes, and offerings. Your word says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse and there may be food in our house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there won't be enough room for you to store and receive it. You will prevent pests from devouring our crops and the vines in our fields will not drop there before it's ripe. Father, we say thank you, Jesus. We are cheerful givers. Abba Father, you are our provider. We request that you bless us with innovative and inventive ideas that may bring increase to our finances. Spirits of favor, spirits of counsel, spirit of might, spirit of power come upon us. Release downloads of information so we may become solution makers in the name of Jesus. Business owners, Lord God, marketplace leaders, Father. Oh, Jesus, we ask that you give us the writer's anointing in the name of Jesus so we may complete our writings, our books, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Father, you said wealth and riches are in our houses. Our righteousness endures forever. We declare anything from the kingdom of darkness contesting the release of our financial blessings and have made it their business to hinder us. We single you out right now. We bind you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Checks, settlements, inheritances, back payments, insurance claims, tax returns, and miraculous deposits will hit our bank accounts now in the name of Jesus Christ, son of the living God. Oh, Father, Oh, Abba Father, we ask you release Jeremiah, the angel of financial security, to assist us with building a solid foundation for generational wealth. Whatever we do in our daily lives, we will work in 
a spirit of excellence. We will not be lazy. Instead, we are diligent to put our best foot forward. If we work for the Lord and not for man, Lord God, we will not be lazy. Instead, we will be diligent. We'll put our best foot forward. We will work as if we're working for the Lord and not for man. In doing so, Lord God, your word says to remember the Lord. Remember the Lord will give us an inheritance as a reward. And it is the Lord we are serving. Oh, Father, we say thank you, Lord God. We say thank you, God, for providing all our needs. Thank you, Lord God, for being a good, good father. We say thank you, Lord God, because you provide. You provide, Lord God. There's no lack, no lack whatsoever in the name of Christ Jesus, son of the living God, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so the last prayer point. I la- I la- I- <laughs> this one I left for last because it's touchy. But hey, I'd rather be obedient, right? So this is a touchy one, but it must be said. So here we go. We're going to release this in the name of Jesus. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I know, right? <laughs> you know, pe- people are squirmish. You know, they don't like to hear what God got to say. But we're going to release this word, okay? So this final prayer point is about sex, sexual perversion, any issues of lust, okay? So this is something the Lord wanted me to pray on. So Father, in the name of Christ Jesus, we confess and repent of any form of sexual perversion and sexual sin. We understand sexual sin opens the door for all kinds of evil spirits to enter. Deliver us, Lord, from present sexual lust and enticement. Free us from spiritual contamination resulting from fornication, pornography, past sexual sins, expel sexual deposits and demonic influences that have been acquired by sleeping with demonized individuals, one night stands, orgies, swing relationship, underage pregnancy packs, cliques or clubs, partner exchanges, incest, adultery, rape, homosexual encounters, masturbation, pedophilia, sex trafficking, and prostitution. Oh, the blood of Jesus covers all multitudes of sin. And his love, Lord God, the love of God, is, is, is a healing balm to our soul. So deliver us, Lord, from every bondage. We renounce these sins and we break ourselves from every spirit of sexual perversion in the name of Christ Jesus, son of the living God. We release ourselves from every sexual pollution emanating from childhood molestation wombs in the name of Christ Jesus of Nazareth, son of the living God. We release ourselves from every ancestral pollution dream pollution, every evil plantation of sexual perversion in our lives. We command them to come out now and we castrate you and destroy you at the root of your conception in the name of Jesus, son of the living God. We declare every spirit of sexual perversion working against our lives. We bind you up. We evict you and command you out of our lives. Let the power of sexual perversion oppressing our lives receive the fire of God and be roasted in the name of Christ Jesus, son of the living God. We declare every inherited demon of sexual perversion in our lives receive the arrows of fire and remain permanently bound in the name of Christ Jesus, son of the living God. And so father, I thank you, Lord God, for this time to pray with your people. Lord father, let these prayers and confessions, Lord God, be sealed by the blood of Jesus and let these prayers go forth, Lord God. Let there be manifestation in the lives of every receiver, every hearer of your word. Lord God, your word is living. Your word is alive and may it emanate in their hearts, in their minds, Lord God. May your word, Lord God, not just be 
pleasant to the ears, but let it be a part of who they are and how they live. So Father, I say thank you. I say, Lord God, I say thank you for allowing me, Lord God, to come forth with this prayer on today. And let every hearer, let every believer share this prayer with every family members or friends. Now, if any of you guys want any of these prayers, email me and I'll be happy to email it to you guys. My email address is on the screen, but it's djohnba at gmail.com. So I love you guys. I say God bless you. I thank you for hanging in with me. So now I'm going to go take me a nap. I've been up like really all night. <laughs> so God bless you guys. I love you until I see you guys again. Take care. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Walk in grace. Walk in grace. May the Lord keep you, watch over you. May he always go ahead of you. You are blessed going out and blessed coming in. And you walk in the full authority of Christ Jesus. Okay? I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.